Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Yamaha booth and to NAM 2014. Uh, my name is Tom Sumner, and I'm a senior vice president at Yamaha Corporation of America. And to start this morning, I would like to introduce and have come up to speak the president of the Yamaha Corporation of America, Mr. Hitoshi Fukutomi. Thank you for joining us this morning. My name is Hitoshi Fukutomi. I'd like to tell you about our theme for this year's NAM show. The theme is passion and performance, which embodies the essence of our company. Passion and performance influences every product we build, every customer we serve, and every music lover we delight. Passion and performance also applies to our valued dealers, artists, and music educators who serve as an extension of our brand. We are grateful to work with such wonderful partners to spread the joy of music. Each of these words has a slightly different meaning. Passion conveys Yamaha's dedication to and honor for the instruments and product we design and build. It defines our relentless desire and determination to create traditional and innovative instruments that makes an indelible impact on the musical landscape. Performance, on the other hand, relates to the fulfillment felt by musicians of all abilities when they play a lovingly and artfully designed Yamaha instrument that is meticulously crafted to allow for the expression of an individual's musical voice. Around the globe, Yamaha team members work delight diligently to exceed the expectations of the customers and business partners. I hope that you can see that the passion and performance is how we conduct our daily business. And again, I thank you for joining Yamaha here at the NAM show. And I'd like to ask Tom Sarma to highlight just a few of the key, key new products that we are most passionate about showing you. Thank you. Well, I certainly hope that you and everyone here at the NAM show will be able to see the passion that Yamaha puts into every product that we make and indeed into everything we do. And sometimes people ask me, you know, how does Yamaha create quality, innovative music and sound products across so many categories? And I've been with Yamaha 25 years, hard for me to believe, but I've been with Yamaha 25 years. And for me, it's because Yamaha really acts much more like a collection of boutique manufacturers that are really unified by the quality design, the quality manufacturer, and customer support that Yamaha's known for. You know, I think when people walk in the door to the NAM display for the first time, the Yamaha NAM display, I think it can be a bit intimidating. It's basically a, walking onto a huge football field with all these bright and shiny new products, and you kind of wonder, you know, what do I need to see? What's most important? And of course, if you ask, you know, anyone of us at Yamaha, we'd say, well, you need to see everything. You have to spend the whole show with us, right? <laughs> but this morning, we just want to highlight a few of the key innovations that we're most excited about. And one of the things at Yamaha that we get most excited about is new technology. We love introducing new technology. And it's especially exciting when that new technology is in a product that is literally 300 years old. So from the Disclavier, which is celebrating its 25th anniversary, to the silent piano, to really the groundbreaking hybrid avant-grand piano, Yamaha has a tradition of innovation in acoustic pianos. So today, we are super excited to be introducing the new breed of acoustic piano. We're introducing the U1TA with transacoustic technology. So, transacoustic, you say, what, what is transacoustic? Well, at its core, transacoustic uses the piano soundboard to actually amplify, to reproduce the acoustic 
and the electronic sounds. And when you think about it, what could be more musical? What's more natural than using the piano sound or to reproduce sound? So when you listen to a digital piano, for example, you're at best listening to a stereo sound. But with transacoustic, the sound emanates from the piano soundboard itself and really envelops you and gives the player the feeling like they're playing a much larger instrument with stunningly realistic sound. And of course, being an electronic as well as an acoustic instrument, there's a volume control. You can turn down the volume, you can play with headphones in perfect total privacy. And really with transacoustic, you really have to play it and experience it for yourself to believe it. And the good news is you can do that in the Yamaha booth. We have it here for you to play. So I invite you all to come and play and try the U1TA transacoustic piano. And we think that when pianists play this, they will want to play on and on and on. So how does the transacoustic technology work? So the basics work much like a Yamaha silent piano, which really marries an acoustic piano plus a digital tone generator. So when a note is struck on the transacoustic piano, just before the hammer hits the strings, the sound is acoustically muted. Then electronic sensors accurately measure the keyboard and the hammer movement and send that information to a sound source. But it's then that the magic of transacoustic actually starts to happen. The detailed performance information is then sent to specially designed transducers, uh, which are attached to the soundboard. And the effect is really astonishing. The vibration of the soundboard, combined with the resonance of the acoustic strings, produces a very rich sound. And of course, you can always layer the electronic sounds with the acoustic sounds, all coming from the piano soundboard itself. So we think, at Yamaha, we think that experiencing uh, the transacoustic should be your very first stop, not just at the Yamaha booth, but at NAMM, of course. So from the excitement of the all-new technology, the U1 transacoustic, to what may seem like a simple refresh of the famous Zeno trumpet line, uh, but it's not. The new Zeno line is a complete redesign of what we first introduced in 1990 and later refreshed in 2001. And it's important because Zeno really occupies the pinnacle of Yamaha's trumpet line. And these are instruments that inspire. The new Zeno was actually born out of the same development project that gave birth to the Chicago Sea Trumpet that we introduced just last year. And Zeno is kind of famous for outstanding power and projection with refined resistance and response that brings the player extraordinary tonal flexibility. Now the new Zeno brings even better response from pianissimo to fortissimo with more control, with more centered tone, and a stronger presence and a clearer, warmer tone color. Now, you can take my word for it, but uh, I got to hear it yesterday, and it's really amazing. So, we are very fortunate today that we have a world-class performer, world-class educator, world-class composer with us today. And uh, we were, I was just talking with uh, him this morning, and he must be here someplace. Uh, he's back here, good. Uh, so, um, and he's actually been playing Yamaha horns, we figure, 34 years. So he has a lot of experience in the, the whole arc and history of Yamaha horns. So I would like to uh, bring up Alan Vizzuti to come play for us.
It's so nice to see all of you, and it's wonderful to be a part of this amazing event and to mo this morning's press conference. A couple brief things is all I have to offer, but brief and wonderful. And those things have to do with this new horn, of course. Uh, my life as an artist has been just wonderful and creative and getting to travel and play and do all those things. And one thing that I always needed and we need in the, in the music world, of course, obviously, is a wonderful instrument to play, an inspiring instrument. And, you know, I have followed the development of the Yamaha instruments, as was mentioned, uh, for over 30 years. This horn uh, I picked up a few days ago, um, and like all Yamaha horns, the quality is such that you can really dig in and become comfortable very quickly. Um, another very important thing about the new line of Zeno trumpets, besides the quality and the price point, is that it can cover myriad styles. You can play any, like, you know, I kind of opened with a little jazzy bit and then did a little class, uh, technical bit. And this horn can cross over. And as a studio musician for many years in Los Angeles and now elsewhere in the world, we are faced every day at, of the musicians with music. We have no idea what it is in advance, and it can be any style imaginable, as you can well picture. So we feel very comfortable, and I feel very comfortable on this, on this uh, young high instruments, and their flugel horns, and their piccolo trumpets, and their C's, and their D's. It's really great to be associated with a family who also is very heavily supportive of music education. And if we can reach our young kids, we, with music and acoustic music as well, acoustic instruments, we can not only better society, but we can drive forward the, this, this nourishment we have in music and art, which will be lost otherwise because of the wonderful but amazing technology can kind of overwhelm us. So this is a very old thing mentioned for thousands of years, but it's something we want to keep happening. It's just so organic and so wonderful. Um, so it's a, it's a fantastic instrument. I think that when a student for instance, gets a horn of this quality, which is entirely uh, reasonable, they will want to play the horn more and more, past the novelty of new ownership. So I'm very proud to be associated with Yamaha. I really love the harmonic structure and the sound and the projection and the mellowness also of this trumpet. And uh, let me just say so long for now with a few more notes, and thanks for your attention. So for those of you out there um, that want press information, Peter Giles, the Yamaha press contact, which, who's raising his hand now, has EPKs that you can get at the end of the conference. So of course, technology is involved in every single product that Yamaha makes. And when it comes to the products that most people think of when they think of technology products, we've always believed that products that allow musicians to easily and affordably make and share their music and sound great doing it are the most compelling. And that's really always what the MG series of compact mixers has always been about. And here at NAMM 2014, we are introducing the third generation of this country's best-selling compact mixers, the Yamaha MG series. So these new MG series, we're calling them Road Tough and Studio Ready. So they are Road Tough because they have uh, metal chassis with universal power supplies so they can take the abuse of a traveling band and they're the only mixers in their class that actually have balanced outputs on every single model in the line. And they're studio ready with really musical features like Yamaha Depri's preamps that we have on our Steinberg audio interfaces and on our MGP mixer series which is doing absolutely great in the marketplace and things like one knob compression so that you can get cleaner vocals, punchier bass, tighter snares. 
And the all new series also includes Yamaha's SPX um, uh, digital effects, which can make any mix sparkle. And they're presets too, so that they are really easy for anybody to get a really great sound on these MG mixers. You know, but today, the stage actually is the studio. And the new MGXU models recognize that reality with the built in. 24 bit, 192 kilohertz, USB class compliant audio interface. So, what does that mean? Well, let's think about it. So, if you're at a gig or a rehearsal and you have your MG mixer and you have something like this, the little Yamaha cloud recorder app on your iPhone, it's $1.99 by the way, <laughs> you can publish audio directly to SoundCloud. And when you publish that audio directly to SoundCloud, you are ready to immediately share that with your fans on Facebook, on Google Plus, or any one of a number of social media sites. So it's super attractive for bands, but also think about houses of worship. I mean, most houses of worship share their message every Sunday. This is a really easy way for them to do that. Pretty incredible technology, pretty incredible achievement in a compact mixer series. So we believe that the new MG series will continue its tradition as a top-selling mixer in the market by offering musicians really great ease of use, uh, sound quality, and roadworthy value. So now, um, as we go for the last couple of products that we're going to talk about today, um, it's really my honor uh, to bring up someone who has been really Mr. Yamaha Drums for a decade or so. <laughs> Um, my good friend, Mr. Dave Jewell. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate you coming out. So it's a big show for Yamaha Acoustic Drums. Um, we're going through the largest change we have gone through in our product in a 47-year history. It all started last year with the launch of the live customer. Remember Tommy Aldridge playing the live custom last year? started there at last year's Winter Nam and will continue this year with our revamp of our Stage Custom Birch drum set and our Absolute Hybrid Maple drum set that has been three years in the making. So, first off, we're going to talk about the Stage Custom drum set. That drum set has been the industry leader and it all started in 1996. I remember I was working in retail at that time when Yamaha came out with the stage custom drum set at that time and it was a game changer. It was unbelievable and it stole the show. The new revamp on this new stage custom birch I feel is going to do the exact same thing. So with that, and I, you guys can actually meander over here, I'm pleased to introduce the Yamaha drum set artist, all around great guy, educator and leader of the Birdland big band, Tommy Igo to demonstrate the Stage Custom Birch drum set on the new drum set in pure white. So if you want to meander over there and get a look at Tommy here, please do. Tommy, take it away. Come on over, everybody. Yeah. Check this bad boy out. So uh, I asked Yamaha for the uh, uh, privilege of being able to play this particular instrument. Um, what, uh, if anyone doesn't know, what I do and who I am, that's fine. I play uh, half my career as a performer and I try really, really hard to split the other half of my career as an educator. So this particular instrument, I think, is gonna be Yamaha's secret weapon because this is by far the best entry-level instrument I have ever sat behind. Now, I can tell you how great I think it is, but we played a gig last night with Lee Rittenauer and the legendary Abe Laboriel Sr. was playing bass, and he said to me, without me prompting him, how great this particular drum set sounded. And he wasn't talking about like price points or anything like that. He just said, I love playing with that drum set. And I just was like, well, if you need any more better validation than that, you're not going to get it anywhere. So the thing with the educator part of me is that I think it's very easy to sell kids an entry-level drum set and get it, get them playing. What's hard is to keep students playing year after year after year. And one of the things I see over and over from kids who stop playing is that they get tired of their instrument. 
And what this instrument is going to allow kids to do, and people who are buying their first drum set, is to enjoy it for a really long time or before they even feel the need to upgrade. So I'm going to play it for you now. Uh, I'll try to play a couple of things too before any fancy stuff, just so that you can hear it kind of like on Mach, you know, 10. Uh, I'll play a couple of things like uh, maybe a couple of grooves that kids would actually play in high schools, musicals, actual uh, application of where this particular drum set, especially in band rooms, all these different educational uh, venues where this drum set is going to be a perfect choice. All right, and with your permission, I'll do that now. Thanks a lot for listening, and thank Yamaha for having me play this great instrument for them. Thank you. Number two, next is probably again the most significant new product for us is um, in the history of Yamaha drums is the absolute hybrid maple drum set from our new state of the art factory, the same factory that where the live custom is coming from. This drum set has been three years in the making with the input of over 100 artists. And the 100 artists that we have, every one of them is on the graphic behind the infamous Teddy Candle right there. And we thank them for all their input, and we're honored to have them um, here, and, and one of them here as far as has significant input in the drum set. T taking many aspects from the PHX drum set, new technologies from our Yes Free mounting system, you will see this drum set is the most expressive drum set we will ever make or you'll ever hear. I'm pleased to introduce Gordon Campbell, who has performed with American Idol live, toured with Philip Phillips, and his new best-selling DVD, Secrets of a Working Drummer, is getting rave reviews as one of these hundred artists that have had key input. Gordon, take it away.
Gordon Campbell. Yes. Here. Can you say a word, please? Yes, I can. Hi, everybody. First of all, thanks Yamaha. Thanks to Yamaha for asking me to be here and play. These drums are amazing. I've, um, like I said, I've worked in a lot of different situations, live, big arena, small venues, studio sessions. And for me, my main thing when I'm playing is the tone of the drums. If the drums don't sound good, I don't feel like I play well, and I, don't, I just don't feel good. These drums, the tone, the first thing, when we were testing them out, and like you said, we, they had a lot of drummers come in and play a bunch of prototypes, and these were the ones they just sung. Out of all the kids that they had in line over at Burbank, these drums just sung to us, and tone is everything for me, and if the tone's not right, I'm not gonna play right. The kick drum, the stick, the toms have the tone, they're long tones. They just feel good, and for me, I just need it to feel good, and it makes me feel good, I play better. It makes the music feel good, so. That's it, and also, the high, this is, Yamaha's the only company, drum company, that has electronics and acoustic, everything in one company. So it's great for me, because on a lot of gigs, I incorporate pads and the DTX uh, multi-pad in my setup. So this is, it's great for me, I love it. And it feels good, it sound, the sounds and the brains are amazing. The triggers are amazing, they work. I've played some other ones that didn't necessarily pan out, and these pan out. So I mean, it's, it's really simple, they feel good, they sound good, and they work on the road. Thank you. All right, go we know everybody's busy. We really appreciate your time and coming here today. That's it. We hope you have a great NAM, and thank you so much for coming. And Peter Giles is right over here with the information you need, right? So go ahead and grab Peter. So thanks, everybody, for coming. Appreciate it.